Here he comes. The greatest rider of them all, Buffalo Bill Jr. With his little sister, Calamity. Buffalo Bill Jr. brings you exciting action. Thrill and fun with Judge Ben Fair and Square, Wiley. Ride the road to adventure with Buffalo Bill Jr. Thank you for the compliment. Keep behind cover, Clammy. Quick, duck! Well, now, what do you make of that? Someone sure had us lighting up in his rifle sights, then changed his mind. I think I'll have a look. We just came visiting. What you want? Nothing. We just saw the saddle there, and well, no one's lived around here for so long. We just wondered who had moved in. You got something to eat, maybe? Now you stop acting silly. Put down that rifle and come over to Wileyville, and there you can eat all you want. No, you don't tell me how to act. Go away now. Vamos. Well, if that's the way you want it. Scared nothing. That youngster's in some kind of trouble, and he's all by himself. Except a mare and a foal he's got in the barn. Well, how do you know that, Mr. Smarty? Tracks back at the house and all the way up here. It's a full-grown horse and a young one. Must be a mare that goes with the saddle, or the foal wouldn't be following. Oh. Well, what are you going to do about it? Well, they say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Same goes for kids. So let's go get some food and come back. Looks like we're about to get the horse we need. Now you better take it easy, boss. There may be others around. We got to keep moving, my chiquita. Many men looking to take you away from me. Pretty soon we find a new home someplace. Then we eat plenty. Howdy, Sonny. What do you want? Go away. You don't take my horse. You don't take Chiquita. Maybe he's going to be unreasonable after all. Oh, I don't think so. We're going to be mighty generous and let you keep the coat. We're just borrowing your horse, Sonny. Stop. Stop. You don't take Chiquita. <laughs>
now. This knife-sized boy, like you say, loose by himself with a gun and two horses. He just makes believe he's tough. He's not really. He's scared. Say, how come you got the pretty new ribbon in your hair? Well, I just felt like it. You wouldn't be planning on charming the little fellow, would you? Don't be silly. <laughs> Bring him back here, Bill. Even if you have to use calamity as bait. You bet, Judge. Come on, sis. Posters could be about us? Oh, I don't think so. We just pulled that robbery yesterday. The sheriff over at Live Oak had hardly had a chance to print up posters and send them way out here. Well, we better take a look just the same. Uh, maybe you're right. $1,000 reward for the catcher for Pedro Gonzalez, age 10. Charged with theft of mare and coat. Reward paid only if both horses are returned uninjured. Otis McComb, Mesquite City. Hey, it could only mean this mare and the coat the kid's got. Yeah, but why would anybody pay a thousand dollars reward for a couple of horses? What difference does it make? We can use the money and we know where the coat is. Only, only what? I don't want that old buzzard hammering up any more of these posters. Everybody else will get wise about it. We better corral him. Talk to you, old timer. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many of these posters have you put up? Well, nothing you got there, and this and I just tacked up. McComb gave me the job. Well, the job's over with. It is. McComb sent us out to tell you. Well, I'll be doggone. First job I had this year, and it's over before it starts. Well, do I get paid for what I've done? Well, you'll have to talk to McComb about that. Oh. Bigfoot, get the rest of those posters and tear that one down. <clears throat> yeah, this one's on the wrong way, too, boss. Hey, why do you put these upside down? Upside down? That's right. Is that the way I done it? Well, you see, mister, I never did get around to learn to read, and so it don't make no difference to me which side's up. All right, mount up and get going. What'll I do with the rest of these? Well, we'll ditch you behind some rocks, then we'll go back and find the kid in the colt. want to help you. And we even brought you some food. You got something to eat now? Sure. And we don't want to be shot for bringing it. Now, what's your name? Pepito Gonzalez. Now, we're your friends, Pepito. Tell us what this is about. Why are you afraid of everyone? Bill, can't you see the poor boy starving? And all you do is stand there and ask him questions. Here. Muchas gracias. Well, while you're eating, you can tell us what the trouble is. No. I take care of myself. Well, at least you can tell us what became of the mayor. How you know I got the mayor? Read the signs at the shack. And besides, your colt's too young to be away from its mother. See, si. two man, two bandidos steal Chiquita a little while ago. And now Itanito got nothing to eat. We've got plenty of milk at the store. There they are, but who's that with them? Senor, look, two bandidos met Chiquita. 
calamity. Pepito, behind the rock. All right, cover up. If we're two against one, we gotta get that code. Put off that way, and the one he chases, the other one gets a coat, right? Were you hit? Uh, I, I don't know. I just, I guess I just got kind of nervous. Well, are you sure? Well, oh, oh, I'm just shook up a bit. Say, why was you chasing that Jasper? Horse thieves. They must be out of reach now. Uh, you look like one of them ran the hands that took my job away from me. Your job? Yeah. Hard to believe, but I had one. Went to work, tacked up reward posters, and him and his partner took it away from me. Oh, those posters must have been about them. Oh, sure. Now, you know I can't read. I don't know what they was about. Well, you better come into Whiteyville and explain it to the judge anyway. Yeah, all right. Hurry up. we got to get back to the kid. Yeah, all right, Bill. Oh, you were sure a big help. Where's your horse? No, oh, back there someplace. Sure, sorry we missed getting your mare back, Pepito. But Tinker Jones here, he might help us find out who the horse thieves are. Come on, it's not far to Wileyville. We'll go slow on account of your cold. No, I don't go to no town. It'll be all right, Pepito. You must know we're on your side by now. Si, sí, senor. And but... you gotta get milk for your cold. Bueno, I come, but only for the milk. I never saw anybody so suspicious in all my life. <laughs> They sure didn't take them posters without some reason. And what were they doing attacking you? If Tinker could only read. Yeah. Come on, Pepito. I've got the milk and everything ready. You know, I like that kid, but he's keeping something from us. I sure can't guess what it would be. You know, it would help Tinker if you'd have kept one of those posters. Yes, I know. It's too bad I can't read, and too bad I didn't keep on them poster. But, say, I did keep one of them posters. I just remembered. Well, you did? Where is it? What did you do with it? What's the matter? You got a sore foot? No, no. You see, these old boots of mine was a leaking dust. And I didn't think them two fellas would mind if I used one of the posters for lining. Well, get it off, you old jughead. We can't read through that boot. You can. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, here, Tinker, I'll help you. Come on, I'll push. You 
you have to cut a real small hole. You think he drinks for me? Oh, sure. Now you pour the milk. That's enough. Not so many. Most bad, I know. Why don't you tell us what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Hey, little Pete, the judge wants to talk to you. I got nothing to talk. Go ahead, Papito. The judge won't bite. <laughs> Have you seen this, Papito? I don't want to read, Senor Judge. Well, it says you're wanted for stealing two horses, a mare and a colt. It's not true. They my horses, Chiquita and Etanito. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, why don't you tell us all about it, boy? And who is this Otis McComb? Senor McComb, he tried to take the horses when my father died. He's offering a big reward for them. He must think they're his horses. Senor McComb, he say he have paper. It is bad paper. Well, in that case, we'd better take you back to Mesquite City and help you get it straightened out. No, I never go back. They take my Chiquito already. No, Senor Malcolm will take Itanito, too. No, no, now calm down, Papito. If you can prove those horses are yours, we won't let anybody take the colt, and we'll get Chiquita back, too. No, I go. Young man, you're under arrest. The court will now go into session. Tinker, take off your hat. Take off that hat. Whereas, there's two dangerous Ranians on the loose aiming to steal your colt, Pepita Gonzalez, and might do you bodily harm. The court hereby sentences you to jail for your own good until we can find out what's what. It won't be bad, Pepito. As for you, Tinker Jones, you're going to jail to keep that boy company. If you hadn't have been too dead gum lazy to learn how to read and write, we wouldn't have this trouble. Well, I don't mind it a bit. I need a little rest anyhow. May I go with them? I'll take my spelling book and teach them how to read. See, that's a good idea. Uh, the court hereby appoints you, Calamity, to take charge of these culprits and teach them their ABCs. Court's adjourned. Take them away, Bill. He kept that thing on his head. Here, Clamity, give that back to him, will you? And get him some fresh paper. Yes, sir. Oh, what do you make of it, Judge? Well, I believe that boy, but this McComb, he must have some reason for claiming the horses. Hey, look at this bill of sale. It's for a bay mare and a colt, and it's Mark Page. Size, yeah, Otis McComb is the signature there, the seller. Mm -hmm. And there's a cross with the name Juan Gonzalez under it, the purchaser. This Gonzalez must have been Pepito's father. And that proves that those horses do belong to Pepito. Yeah, and that foal is the grandson of Ethan Allen, the great trotting horse. That's where they got the name Etonito. I guess that's right, and that's why that reward is so high. What comes after A, Tinker? After A, let me see, uh, C, that's it. Oh, Tinker, you're just guessing. Do you know, Pepito? A, B, C, and the next one's D, and then E. Something the matter with Tanito. Well, he's just winning. I tell you, I know. Maybe I can't spell, but I know everything he says. 
something the matter. Go look, please. Well, if it'll make you feel any better. True copy to show to McComb. Bill, Judge, they stole the coat. Who stole it? Those two men that shot at us. Get after them, Bill. It's too late. They've gone. They'll head for Mesquite City to collect the reward. You think you can stop them? I can sure try. I'll tell Peter. Howdy. My name's McComb. I'm looking for an old Jasper by the name of Tinker Jones. He's supposed to live around here. Is your name Otis McComb? Yeah, that's right. Why? Well, now, if that don't beat all. Well, what's wrong? I hired Tinker Jones to put up some reward posters for me. A couple of my horses were stolen. He didn't put up a one. The horses belong to you, Mr. McComb? Well, they sure do. What do you make of this? It says you sold those horses to Juan Gonzalez. That's right, I did. But Gonzalez got sick just before he died and needed some money. So I let him have it. And he gave me the mare and the foal for security. We've got the Gonzales boy here, but the colt along with the mare was stolen. Well, who stole him? A couple of random hands that want to collect the reward money. Bill, uh, if you think you can overtake those horse thieves, get going right now. Yes, sir. I'll go along with you. No, you don't, Mr. McComb. You stay right here. What's the big idea, Judge? I ain't got time to explain now. Get going, I said. Please let me out. I can help find Itanito. The judge wouldn't like it, but I'll go with you if you promise to come back. See, si, see, si, I promise anything. You can use my horse, son. Got this. Unbuckle those gun belts. You know, you might have got us, but the joke's on you. There's no horses. <laughs> that part of the joke, maybe, but let's see you laugh walking back to Wileyville. Now get started. Miss Tom, how come Juan Gonzalez signed this bill of sale with a cross because he couldn't write, and then wrote his name out in full on this note? I don't know. Well, I do. You forged his signature. Here, I'll hold them for you, Papito. Senor Judge, we found them. We found my horses. Well, good. I mean, silence. Papito, how'd you get out of jail? Well, Colum... Uh, never mind. I I'll get to you later. Court's now in session. Pepito, could your father read and write? No, senor. That is why I don't learn to. McComb, I'm holding you for forgery, and you two buzzards as horse thieves. Lock them up, Bill. Can I keep your horses now, senor judge? You just bet you can. That is, if you learn how to read and write. You bet I do. A is for apple. B, B is for boy. Um, um, C is for cold. That means you ain't that, Mr. Um, here is G. That is for good. We find good people. H is for happy. We go. 
gonna be very happy too. Buffalo Bill Jr. Now with his horse and with his gun, he's not afraid of anyone. Cause no one's quicker on the draw or quicker to defend the law. Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. He's the son of a son of a gun. Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill. 